Hello everyone and welcome to recipes you like. In this video we will be making a crispy gujia from outside and a mouth melting filling from inside. Let's begin the recipe. In a heavy bottomed pan we will take one full teaspoon of ghee. Over this we will add a cup of desiccated coconut. It's better to use homemade desiccated coconut. Avoid using the store bought one if you have a coconut at home. Make it dry, remove the skin and grind it in the mixer grinder taking small quantities to make a coarse powder like this. We have roasted the coconut for about 2 to 3 minutes over a low heat and you can see a change in the color of the coconut even smell the aroma of roasted coconut. At this point we will add in 1 fourth cup of coarsely ground cashew powder along with coarsely ground dry dates. This will give a light sweetness to our filling because we are not going to add any sugar here. Along with this we are also going to add 1 fourth cup of coarsely ground almonds powder. We have not removed the outer skin of the almonds. Also add in 1 fourth cup of raisins kishmish in it. Continue roasting dry fruit mix over a low heat but be careful don't over roast it otherwise it might smell bad. At last we will add in half a teaspoon of green cardamom powder. Now it has been about 3 minutes we have been roasting this dry fruit mix over a low heat stirring continuously. It has changed color and is now aromatic. At this point we will add in 150 grams of koya mawa. This is fresh koya made at home. It's soft at this point. If you are using a store bought one make it into small pieces or grate it and then add it. If you want to learn how to make fresh pure khoya mawa at home instantly within 10 minutes click the iCard link coming above. Giving you a little bit hint this khoya is made out of milk powder so it has got a little amount of sugar in it. That's the reason why we didn't add any extra sugar here. Just within 1 to 2 minutes of adding and mixing the mawa into the dry fruit our filling is ready. Moving on, in a bowl we will take 2 cups of maida all purpose flour. To this we will add 1 fourth teaspoon of green cardamom powder and 1 fourth teaspoon of salt. Salt helps to enhance the sweetness of a mithai. Next add about 5 tablespoons of ghee in this. Here we are adding ghee at room temperature. 5 tablespoons is the measurement for melted ghee. Scrubbing the flour within your palms and your fingers properly mix in the ghee or incorporate the ghee in the flour till the flour turns flaky and holds its shape like this. This also shows that the ghee is appropriate in the flour. Here ghee gives our gujia covering a crispy texture so avoid using oil instead of ghee. Now adding water little at a time we will make a stiff dough. To knead this dough it required about 3 4 cup of water. Now we will cover this dough and let it to set for about 15 to 20 minutes. Meanwhile we will start making the sugar syrup. For this we are required to take 1 cup of sugar. Over this we will add 3 4th cup of water. Let the sugar melt over a low heat and the sugar syrup come to a boil. Here the sugar has melted completely and the syrup has also come to a boil. Here we are not required to make any thread consistency of the sugar syrup. Just the sugar syrup needs to be sticky like a honey. After 1 to 2 minutes of sugar syrup boiling, we will check the sugar syrup. Dip your spatula or spoon in the sugar syrup, take it out, let the syrup over it cool down for a few seconds and then check like this. If it feels sticky, then your sugar syrup is perfectly ready. Here 15 minutes are over, our dough is all set. We will give it few punches and then let's divide it into two parts. While working on one portion, keep the rest covered. Roll out the dough into a big sheet which is neither too thick nor too thin. If our gujia cover is too thick it might feel raw and if it is too thin the filling might break out while frying. This is the perfect thickness that we are required to keep as you can see on the screen. After this taking a 3 to 4 inch cookie cutter or a katori or a small bowl like this. Cut out round pieces or rotis like this. Removing the extra you can roll this out again. 
After this, taking about a teaspoon or two of the filling, drop it over these round cut pieces. After this, using your fingertip, apply a little bit of water all over the edges of the roti so that it sticks properly. Applying a little bit of pressure, seal the edges so that it not only sticks but also spreads a little bit and gets thin over the edges. Secure it tightly, firmly and be sure that it has sealed completely to make sure that the filling doesn't come out. Now we will make design on the edges. To make the design either you can use a mold, gujia mold is available in the market or you can do it using a fork or you can do it even the traditional method like this. Taking a corner, fold it inside. Again when a corner is formed, press it like this and then again fold it inside. Repeat the process giving a little bit of gap in between using your thumb to make the design. It's done. Have a look how beautiful it's looking. Finish and do the same with all of the pieces. Next to fry these gujiyas, we are using ghee here. Ghee has already been kept to heat. The ghee is light hot. It's not too hot. We will fry these gujiyas over low to medium heat. Too much hot ghee or oil can burn the outer cover immediately but keeping the gujiyas raw inside. So keeping this in mind while frying the second batch of gujiyas, either switch off your gas stove for some time before adding the next batch or add little more oil or ghee in your kadhai to drop the temperature of ghee or oil. Now our gujiyas have been evenly fried on both sides. They are golden brownish in color. Immediately after we strain them out from the ghee, we will drop them into the sugar syrup. The sugar syrup needs to be warm. We'll keep the gujiyas dipped in the sugar syrup not more than for about 5 minutes and then strain them out. Keep them for a while over a sieve so that the excess of the sugar syrup drips off. Now you can see glossy juicy gujiyas. If you want you can even have them without dipping in the sugar syrup because they already have some amount of sugar inside in the filling. After taking out the first batch from the sugar syrup, we will add in the second batch of fried gujiyas in the sugar syrup. To serve the gujiyas, we will take out the gujiyas in a plate and decorate them with thinly sliced pistachios. You can keep these gujiyas in the fridge for about 15 days. This recipe makes about 17 pieces of gujiya. If you like this gujia recipe, don't forget to try it. Do consider to subscribe, hitting the bell icon. Till we meet again, bye bye for now.